Hi everyone! Today we're going to be learning a ballet dance to Teddy Bear's Picnic. Now you need to have two things, a nice big space and a teddy bear to go on your picnic. So if you haven't got one yet, just press pause, run and get your teddy bear and then come back and we'll start together. So once you've got your teddy bear, can you put it behind you on the floor? Oh, mine sits up quite nicely. It might be lying down, that's okay. And then can you stand in front of your teddy bear with your first position ready? So your heels are together and your toes are apart. That's it. Now let's check on these headlights. Make sure your headlights are facing straight forwards like a car. We're not facing to the corner. Straight ahead like this, that's it. And you can either put your hands on your hips or if you're wearing your ballet dress, you could hold your skirt out. So that's up to you. Hips or skirt. So we're going to start with four diamond windows. Shall we have a practice? Ready? And one and stretch. Two and stretch. Three and stretch. Four and stretch. Very good. Now let's just check two things. What was your bottom doing when we were doing our diamonds? Was it sticking out? No. We're going to keep our bottoms in, aren't we? So our backs stay nice and tall. How about your window? Was it opening nice and wide or was it closed so nobody could see inside? Let's make sure they open nice and wide and our backs are nice and tall. Shall we have another practice? Four diamonds. Ready? And one and stretch. Two and stretch. Bottoms in. Last one. Big window and stretch. Good work. Well done. From there, we're going to do four of our best points. So let's start with our right foot, this one on this side. We're going to point it forwards, bring it back to first position. Now you other foot, point, first position, point, first position, and point, first position. That was four, wasn't it? Now there's lots to think about on our points. Let's have a go slowly. So just point your right foot again. Have a look at your knees. How many straight knees should we have? Have a look. We should have one here and one here. That's two straight knees. So if we've got two straight knees, how many bent knees should we have? None. We should have no bent knees. They should both be nice and straight. So have a look. Nice and straight, very good. What about this foot? Should it be like this on the floor? Or should we be pointing as hard as we can so that just your toes are touching the floor? Very good. Now, last thing, headlights. What should our headlights be doing like on a car? They should still be facing forwards and they should be level. Well done. So we don't want to do our point like this because then they're not level anymore. And we don't want to do our point like this because then we're not facing forwards. So pop your headlights on, make sure they're level and facing straight ahead. And let's try that point. Are those toes in front of your nose? And bring it back. Let's try the other foot. Point. Now have a look at those knees. Straight knee here and a straight knee here. Pointy toes, headlights forwards. Very good. And bring it back. Now let's try four. Keeping everything nice and straight, headlights forwards. And one, first position. Two, first position. Three, first position. And four, first position. Good work. Well done. Shall we try that all together? Four diamond windows and four points. Ready? Hands on your hips or holding out your skirt. Ready? And one and stretch. Two and stretch. Three and stretch. Four. Now let's point forwards. First position. And point. First position. And point. First position. And point. Good work. Now let's keep going. After you've done your last point, we're going to go right up on our tiptoes. So keep your chin nice and lifted. Try not to look at the floor. We're going up on those tiptoes and we're going to walk on our tiptoes around our teddy bear. Now you might be able to make a big circle around your teddy bear or it might be a small one. Don't worry, as long as you're doing your most beautiful tiptoe walks. Ready? Let's go. Round our teddy bear. Keep that chin up. Try not to look at your teddy bear yet. We're going to pretend we haven't seen him. We're going to do lots of tiptoe walks and then we're going to run on our tiptoes. So still staying nice and tall, chins are lifted. And then when you get behind your teddy bear, 
you're going to spot him on the floor. What's he doing there? Can you point at him like this with a surprised face? And then we're going to pick him up nice and gently and face the front with our feet back in our first position. Do you think we're okay up to there? Let's keep going. Once we've picked up our teddy bear, can you point your right foot to the side? And we're going to try some of our sways. Now we've done a few sways before. We're going to bend both knees and then stretch both knees. Bend and stretch. Bend and stretch. Bend and stretch. Did you count how many that was? I think that was four as well, wasn't it? Should we have another go? Now don't forget our bottoms. We're not going to stick them out. Ready? And one and stretch. Two and stretch. Three and stretch. Four and stretch. Very good. After that, we're going to bring our feet to first position and we're going to do our best jumps. Now, when we're in ballet, can you remember what we need to think about when we're jumping? We need them to land in our first position, don't we? Can you think what else we need to land in? First position and a diamond. Very good. We need to end with a nice big diamond in our first position. Shall we practice? Let's do eight jumps. Ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Have a look. Did you finish in your first position on your diamond? Good work. Shall we try that all the way from the beginning? Let's pop our teddy bear back down. That's it. Into your first position. Hands on hips. Ready for my diamonds. Can you remember how many diamonds? Four. And one. And stretch. Two. And stretch. Three. And four. Now we're pointing. One. First position. And two. First position. Three. And four. Now on our tiptoes, we're going to walk round our teddy bear. Chins lifted. Don't spot your teddy bear yet. And let's run, 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 run. As tall as you can. Oh, let's do another round. <gasps> there he is on the floor. Have you got your shocked face? <gasps> let's pick him up. Can you remember what comes next? We're going to sway. One and stretch. Two and stretch. Three and four. Now what was after our sways? We're going to jump, 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 jump as high as you can. That's it. Now, after we've done our jumping, it's time for our picnic. We're going to kneel down on the floor and pop our teddy bear next to us like that. It might lie down or sit up. Don't worry. So we're going to sit with our teddy bear and then we're going to do some beautiful arms like the fairies in the forest. So one arm's going to come up beautifully and down and the other fairy wing up and down and the other one up and down and up and down. Then we're going to look at all this food we've got at our picnic. So you're going to use your arms and say to your teddy bear, oh, look at all this delicious food we've brought. And then you can pick up your favourite food from your picnic and we can eat it. So maybe you could tell your grown up what your favourite food at the picnic is. Oh, that sounds delicious. Now, when you've eaten at the picnic, we're going to stand up with our teddy bear now and we're going to do our best skips round in our circle. So holding on nice and tightly to your teddy bear, we're going to pick our feet right up to our bottom as high as you can with your skips. That's it. And run back to your place in the middle with your feet in your first position. Now we're going to do a gorgeous twirl up on our tiptoes. Round we go as high as you can. And now it's time for Teddy to go to bed. So we're going to give him a big squeeze. Then we're going to put him really gently on the floor. And we're going to say, shh, so that he can fall asleep. And that's the end. Do you think you can remember all of that? Now, I think we should have a go with the music. What do you think? Yeah. So can you sit your teddy bear behind you? into your first position, make sure those heels are together and you can either put your hands on your hips or hold out your skirt. Now I'm just going to press play on the music so you wait there, stand nice and tall. Ready? Big smile. Four diamonds, ready? If you go 
go down to the woods today, you're sure of a big surprise. If you go down to the woods today, you'd better go oh, in disguise. For One, every bear that ever there was will two, gather there for certain because three, today's the day the teddy bears had their way. Now ready for a tiptoe walks? Round we get. Every teddy bear who's been good is sure of a treat to Chin's lifted. There's lots of marvellous things to eat and wonderful games Now can you play. run on your tiptoes? Beneath the trees where nobody sees them hide. And shall we spot that teddy, teddy bear's surprise face? <gasps> that's the way the teddy bears take him up. their pick. Ready to sway? You One, go down to the woods today. You two. not go alone. It's lovely down in the woods today, but safe for this day. Big jumps this time, first position. For every bear that ever there was, we'll gather there for certain because today we go. is the Ready day the teddy bears have their picnic. Picnic time and for you know. teddy bears. The little teddy bears are having a lovely time Now shall we have a look at our picnic for all this food? Watch them catch and let's eat them up. up. Very good. Now, are we ready for our big skips in our circle? Round we go. Oh, yes, you can. And back to your place. Let's have a twirl. Give your teddy bear a little in Give yourselves a massive clap. Well done, you lot. That was excellent. Now, if you want to, you could rewind and have another go with the music, couldn't you? Good work. Well done. I'll see you soon.